Hello, listeners. So, in this week's interlude, I'm talking about mass shootings, about the numbers, and how we can make them more preventable. I pulled this interlude from my Instagram because I felt like, hey, I worked my butt off on that script, and I think it's important for people to hear. So, enjoy it. Also, another announcement it's June Gay Pride. So, I'm going to be putting my favorite soundbite of Charlie XCX saying, Gay Pride! in front of every episode this month. Lastly, August is coming up and Bruh's a Murder is going at True Crime Festival in Dallas. So come out and have a hot girl summer with us in Dallas. See us, check out the website, buy the tickets, come chill. The gang's gonna be there. Enjoy the episode. If a mass shooting at an elementary school killing 19 children doesn't make you want to take action against gun violence, you're either void of all emotions, entirely out of touch, or just a floppy hair Fox News correspondent. We're going to be talking about the recent mass shootings, the problem of mass shootings, and what, if anything, we can do to take action against gun violence. Just two days before students at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, began their summer break, an 18-year-old lone gunman rushed his way into the school and opened fire on classrooms of young children, killing 19 students, two adults, and wounding two officers. According to the Texas State Department of Public Safety, the gunman was killed by law enforcement and is also believed to have shot his grandmother before carrying out the attack. Authorities continue to search for clues about the gunman's motives, but... Who really knows at this point. This tragic event marks the deadliest school shooting in nearly a decade since 20 children and 6 adults were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The other night, Joe Byron called on the U.S. to turn its collective pain into political action and a national address. But how bad is this gun problem exactly? Well, in the 10 years between 2009 and 2008, 1,121 people were shot and killed in the United States in a mass shooting, and 836 were shot and wounded. In Texas alone, on average, 3,647 people die of gun violence every year. Much like the recent school shooting shows, minorities like the Latinx community bear a disproportionate brunt of the United States gun violence. Latinx people are twice as likely to die by gun homicide and four times as likely to be wounded by an assault with a weapon as compared to white people, for example. Latinx children and teens are three times more likely to be killed by gun homicide than their white peers, which looking at this recent shooting is staggering horrifying. So far this year, there have been at least 77 incidences of gunfire on school grounds, resulting in 14 deaths and 45 injuries nationally. Six of these incidents take place in Texas. Texas has weak gun laws, so it's not a coincidence that it has high rates of gun violence. So now hearing all this, you're probably thinking, with numbers this shocking, are mass shootings even preventable at this point? Mass and school shootings have become a uniquely American thing, and it's due to the difference in ease of access to guns and how weak our gun laws are. Lawmakers must act to require background checks on all gun sales. They have to support extreme risk laws that provide a process to temporarily remove guns from people showing warning signs and keep guns out the hands of domestic abusers. They also need to restrict assault weapons and high capacity ammo magazines along with those mods. Like I promise you Jimbo, your 13 year old child doesn't need an AR-16 to shoot the gopher under your porch. You'll be fine. If you want to take action yourself, I highly recommend checking out organizations like Every Town for Gun Safety a movement of more than 8 million mayors, teachers, survivors, gun owners, students, and everyday Americans who work to end gun violence. You can also donate your money or your time. You can also donate to secure verified fundraisers like Texas Elementary School Shooting Victims Fund, the Funeral Fund for Xavier Lopez, or the Rob Elementary School Shooting, which I'll be linking those organizations through GoFundMe in the comments so you don't get scammed. People be disaster scamming. Don't get disaster scam. Also take action now. Don't be a zebra. Don't be a bystander. Get, get into it. Kisses from the homie. We now have breaking news. 
What's up, what's up? It's Ad Roll Andre here to pay the bills. Now, birthdays, weddings, graduations, Father's Day, Denim Day, look it up, didn't know it was a thing, ill, are all around the corner. There are a lot of spring occasions that you'll be celebrating, so why not celebrate with a gift of beer, wine, and spirits delivered in under 60 minutes with Drizzly? You're right, it's flawless logic. Right now, Drizzly is giving all new customers $5 off their first order with Spring 5. That's cold Spring 5. Just download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com and use promo code SPRING5 for $5 off your first order. That's Drizzly, D-R-I-Z-L-Y dot com and code SPRING5. Get Lady Fam, have some fun. Back to the show. Dang. 